Hi ladies, I am here with some Project Share, some VRs. I have three VRs, so I am just going to do all three of the ladies' VRs together in this one. And um, part of the reason I feel like that would be okay is because I always, when I am sending out entries, I often, not always, but very often, um, ask not to be entered in the giveaway. I am simply sending as support. So when I do that, I kind of feel like if I lumped them all together, that would probably be just fine and sufficient because I just want to reach out and give you all my viewers the information on these ladies so that you can go over and enter their giveaway challenges and possibly win a prize because, you know, it's always fun to win a prize. But, um, so my first shout out I am going to do is for Tiffany, um, 90s Crafts, I think is the name. I will leave her name and the link below. She is doing a 500 subby giveaway and it must somewhere inside the box is the embellishment box any size which i thought was really cool because i don't always get the larger ones but i have found several different styles of the smaller ones so it can be any size um embellishment box it could be anything you wish to make or put in the embellishment box it could even be a handmade embellishment box so there's lots of flexibility with that but it must include one purple item inside the box and it is because she is um, a survivor of see if i can say this right um, sarcoidosis awareness and that is this month and sarcoidosis is an autoimmune deficiency or disease is from my understanding anyway she is a survivor um, living with this disease and purple is the color that represents the disease so for awareness she would like you to include something purple inside your box so how fantastic is that? I will leave the link. Please go check her out. She has um, 500 subbies or just over 500 subbies. And I will show you what I made for her. So first off, I made these two cute little cards using the this collection called Graphic... It's by Graphic 45 called Fairy Wings. And these cards are so cute. I put... Um, glossy accents on the bubbles to make them more shiny and pretty and then here's the other one I put glossy accent on the uh, butterfly I'm not sure which card I'm going to send to her but I will send one of them and this is the cute little box that I made so this little embellishment box I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby it was like a dollar fifty which I thought was pretty cute and I didn't make this one velcro because I was ha it's a six by six pad and it wasn't quite when it wrapped around it didn't quite fit on there but I went ahead I wink Estella the bubbles if you can see the wink Estella on the bubbles and then this is a belly band it does slip off so she can reuse that. And this is the cute little embellishment box itself. It has a little flip lock, which I thought was really great because nothing will fall out of it. And I made a whole bunch of random flare buttons using different collections. There is a Cartabella, there's some Maggie Holmes, there's some Graphic 45 stuff in there. So a whole bunch of different collections. I just made a bunch of random flares. And then I added some of these really cool iridescent jemmies. Here's my purple element, which is a sequence mix, and then a whole heaping gob of charms. I am a little bit rich in charms right now, so I thought I would share. So those are the fun little elements in her um, embellishment box. So this is what I will be sending to um, Tiffany. So next up is Carla. Carla gets crafty. She's doing a 1K um, giveaway. I know we all enjoy and 
strive to get to that 1k mark many of my friends are there so Carla recently um, she recently got to 1k and she is doing a giveaway and she is asking for only one ATC card and I created two but I'm only gonna send her one of them and ATCs are really fun. So I used the gra um, the Prima paper called Lavender. And these are the two little ATC cards that I created. I recently was playing with this. And when I sat down on my at my desk, all this stuff was still sitting out. So <laughs> I decided I would whip up real quick a couple of ATCs. So one of these two is going to Carla Gets Crafty. And I will leave her link below. The next up is Sue H. Sue H is doing a 200 subby giveaway. Yes, only 200 subbies. How crazy is that? So she doesn't have very many subbies. So I decided I would support her. And she is asking for two Mamredex cards. And she wants at least one of them to be blank because she's using it for something different, which I will leave the link below. And you guys can pop over to her channel and watch her giveaway video. But these are using the same paper, the Fairy Wings Graphic 45. I'd actually seen Annie Creates do, she's doing a giveaway right now too as well. I already sent in my entry and did a VR for her. But on her channel, I was watching her open her ATCs that she was getting from people. And she got a Memordex card using this Fairy Wings collection. And I loved the card, the Memordex card that she received. So that inspired me to make my own. So this is the first one that I made. I used a flare. I made a flare. I used the Tim Holtz wings and popped them up on this little fairy girl. Um, I also glossy accented this uh, flower there and I used a die cut from my stash and just added a little pearl. It reminds me of some kind of a crown. Anyways, this turned out really cute, and I was totally inspired to make this particular one in style by the one that I saw on Annie's channel. So this is the one that I, similar to the one I saw, of course, mine's different, but very close. Like she had some sort of a die cut up there, and that's the element that I added that was very similar. So this one was inspired by that card and then I decided ooh I'll just create a whole bunch since I was making memory decks for Sue H I will send her one of these and I have a couple in my stash that I'll probably send along too so then this is the other one that I created and I think it's great so again I used the Tim Holtz butterfly wings these were cut in half, but I have some that I could cut in half, and then I just added them in there. This is some Sizzix die. Is it Sizzix? Wait, the die that I got is that I used these elements from. Yeah, it's this one. It's called Sizzix Framelits with stamps, and it has the stamps. These are the three dies that I used to create this three piece background layered and then this one is a frames die oh, sorry this one is a frames die also by Sizzix these three little frames right there and I got it at Tuesday morning before they closed for 99 cents so I went in my stash and pulled that out and made the little frame. That's also what I used on this one. There, and look how sweet this turned out. I really loved it. So I love the style. I did this one in, you know, a purple tones because the paper lends itself to purples and yellows and blues. But I don't personally like purple, but I do have a lot of these fairy wings and the colors was purple so I wanted to use them 
This one I did with blue. I distressed the edges with my blue peacock feather distress ink and the purple one I used this uh, Versa Mark or Versa Magic Purple Hygendra. So this is the other one that I did. I glossy accented and wink Estella just like I mean it's basically the exact same layout different girl in the middle and then I had ran out of the big wings so I decided on this one I would use slightly smaller wings and I created another one so these are the three that are very similar this is my own made up um, layout and version of it and then this one I based on the uh, uh, the memory decks I saw on Annie's channel so with my own twist of course but, so these are the the four I created I am gonna send Sue H one of these and a different one like I mentioned please go check Sue's 200 subby giveaway out um, she's gonna draw in May and so you still have a little bit of time to make and send before the end of April. Thank you so much, ladies. Have a great and fantastic day.